Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oset Halim. If you are new here, you are highly welcome. Please endeavor to hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I designed these bra cups. If that's something you're interested in, keep on watching and let's go straight to the video. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I have my fabric, I have the cup, and as well, I have the pins that I will be using for this tutorial. So I have everything I need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be notching the middle of my cup. So you're just going to make a notch on the two sides of the cup like that. Okay. So after you're done doing that, the cup, you will do the same thing to the fabric. So I'm also going to be notching the middle of the fabric just like this. Okay. So guys, after you're done doing this, now you will place it on the cup. So I'm going to be ruling a line on this notch I made. I'll just connect the notch so I will know the middle. So right now I'm going to place the cup on it. This is what I did guys and I'm going to pin it down. Okay, so now, now that we are done pinning it down to the middle, I will be pleating it facing each other. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to start with this side. So you're just going to make a pleat going to the middle like that. You've got to make a pleat facing the middle, just like the way you are seeing me doing it. Okay. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to align it very well before you pin it down. So yes, this is how you're going to do it, guys. So this is the first pleat. You can see how it is looking. So now I'm going to go ahead to make the second pleat. You're just going to pleat it facing the middle again okay so you're also going to pin it down with your pin so this is it guys you're just going to align it very well before you pin it down and when you're pinning it down make sure it is firm it is not loosed okay so make sure it is firm very tight so that's what i mean by firm very tight make sure it is tight before you pin so guys, this is how you are going to keep pinning and pinning, okay? So this is the third pleat. You can see how it's already coming out. So this is how you are going to keep doing it. So now I'm just going to go ahead to fast forward this, so for the sake of time. So it's the same thing, it's the same process. You are just going to keep pinning and pinning till you get to the end of that particular side of the cup So guys, as you can see, I'm done pleating this first side, okay? I've done it to the end. So right now, I'll be pleating this other side. I'll be facing it to face this first one that I did. So you're just going to do something like this. Did you see what I'm doing? So you're just going to pleat it to face the other side like that. Then you're going to pin it down. So you're just going to do it well, align it very well before you pin, okay? Then. You will leave a space at the middle like this. Did you see? I have a space there at the middle. So that's how you're going to do it. You place this in a way that there is a space at the middle just the way you are seeing the one I'm doing. So then you're going to align it well again before you pin it down. Okay? So right now you're going to pin it down. So guys, this is how it's going to look. Now you're going to continue the process. Keep pinning it and, you know, Pleat and pin, pleat and pin till we get to the end again. Okay?
so guys this was what i had after i was done making pleats on the whole cup you can see how it's looking okay so this is it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this cup to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew it round i'll just sew it round like that so guys this was what i had after i was done sewing you can see guys it came out so nice so right now i'm going to trim off all this excess fabric so this is what you're going to have after trimming you can see how pretty it's already looking so i'm going to be lining the cup so i'll bring my lining pieces that i'll be using to line the cup so i'm just going to you know iron it i'll be cutting it out in a circle way in a circle form so i'm just going to fold it together like this then i will cut so i'm just going to measure about five inches i'll just use five inches to mark round like a circle okay so this is what you're going to do then you're going to cut it out so guys after cutting now i'm going to um i'm going to be measuring one inch on both sides here so you just mark one inch here you come to this other end and mark one inch then you're going to mark the middle of this um thing then you're going to connect with your straight ruler so you're just going to connect to meet the one inch there and to meet this other one inch then you're going to cut it off So guys now that we are done cutting i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it down so this is what i had after i was done sewing guys you can see i've run the stitch on it so right now i will iron this flat so this is what you're going to have after ironing right now you bring your cup and um you're going to place the cup on this fabric like this on the right sides facing each other and you're going to sew it down so this is what i had after i was done sewing right now i'm going to trim off this excess so guys after doing that i'll take it back to the sewing machine and i'm going to be top stitching it so i'm going to top stitch it to the lining side okay so this is what i had after i was done top stitching guys so right now you can see that my lining is showing and i don't want that to happen so I'm going to be using my hemi gum to gum the lining piece to the actual cup. So I'm just going to place my hemi gum on it like that. Then I will, I will use my lining to cover it, making sure that the lining is not showing. Instead, a little bit of the fabric should be the one showing. Okay, this is what I'm doing, guys. So you're just going to do it like that. So guys, you see what I'm doing. So this, that's how you're going to do it. So you're just going to. Put your um you know hemi gum inside and use it to iron the fabric and the lining piece together so that the lining piece would not show okay so this is it so guys this is how you are going to have it you can see how nice it is looking now the lining piece is stick to the cup so right now i'll just put more hemming gum on the cup like that okay so just place more hemming gum on it and you use it to gum the lining to the cup so this is how you're going to do it it's very easy guys so now i'll be needing my ball for this i'll just place my ball on the table then i'll use it to iron it very well So guys this is what you're going to have you can see our lining now is stick to the cup okay our lining piece now is stick to the cup so right now take this to the sewing machine and i'm just going to sew it together so this is what i had after i was done sewing right now we trim off this excess okay so guys after doing this that's basically all for this tutorial you can see our cup is fully ready to be fixed to our fabric so this is it this is how to design your very own bra cup for your corset let me know what you think about this video in the comment section if this is the first time you are watching any of our video please endeavor to hit the subscribe button thank you guys for watching see you all in our next video